Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, I keep using these crazy markers. Let me fix that. Um, so here in this problem, we're told to have a polynomial equation of degree three. And that just means you could have x cubed somewhere. So right away I'm thinking that the polynomial is probably something either similar to this with a positive leading coefficient or something like this with a negative leading coefficient. So, right. So here we have a picture of something like x cubed or something like the opposite of x cubed. And I'm just thinking of that in the background. That, that's my degree of three information. That's pretty helpful. Okay, it's used to model the volume of a rectangular box. So there's, that's the cubic reason. We've got length times width times depth. That's the cubic aspect. It has x intercepts at negative 2, 10, and 14. So in terms of my graph now, let's see. If this is negative 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's mark this. Negative 2 is a root. 10, and then 14. So 11, 12, 13, 14. So these are our three roots. And um, we want to know which of these could be true. Well, I don't, you know, this is not so clear. Is the, what does the graph do at this point? Um, I'm going to cross out a though because if I plug in negative 2 or 10 or 14 to, for x, negative 2 minus 2 is not 0. It's, it's in fact, these are not zeros. In this case, the zeros would be 2, negative 10, and negative 14, but that's not what we have here. And again, I'm just saying these are our x values, and when you plug them into this polynomial, you don't get 0. Try it out, you'll see what I mean. The second one's okay though because this negative value in the front gives us a little bit of shape to this graph, something like this. And it does cross the roots, right? And if you plug in zero here, we get the y-intercept. That's two times negative ten times negative uh, fourteen, and then another negative sign here. So that's what is that? One forty times two is negative two eighty. It's way down there. This is not the scale. Something like this. So that negative two eighty. That's the y-intercept. That's, that's here, right? So 0, negative 280. Okay, so this is tentative. This is somewhat of our shape, maybe, of our graph. This checks out. It doesn't violate anything. I'm going to cross out C. The maximum value occurs when x is 10. Well, that's a minimum, right? Those are roots. Those are zeros. Those are intercepts. So these three points, negative 2, 10, and 14, are the zeros of the function. Those are the minimum volume values. And then finally, the ma maximum volume of the box is approximately 56. So I have no idea, right? So what we want to do is enter it in the graphing calculator. I went to y equals. And by looking at the y-intercept, plugging in 0, we saw how this graph goes really far. You can notice I've adjusted my mins and maxes here for y. I'm going to kind of fix this. I'm going to say the y-min is negative 300. I just want to see that value in there. For y max, they're saying 60 is the max. Let's go to 100 just to see what's going on. And then press graph to see a picture. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. I don't see the bottom there. I want to see that. So the way I'm going to do that is go to my y min. Let's do negative 400. Go to graph. Let's see. Okay, so there's our min down there. Here's like the negative 280. This is that relative max we're speaking about. Again, I don't know that this is necessarily the case. They're just saying what's possible. So if I hit trace, I can get a good estimate of what's going on. There's my spider, and I'm getting towards my local max. Right here, you can see that it's about 54 right there, about 56.02. And if I want the exact max, I can hit second trace for calculation. I want to do choice four, which is a maximum. I'm going to scroll to the left a little bit. It's asking me for a left bound of the max. And then go to the right. I'm just kind of sandwiching in where that max is. And it says guess. Well, it's saying for me to guess about where the maximum is. Hit enter. You can see it's about 56. So that's reasonable. And that's the maximum volume of the box. So that choice D works as well. And that's it. All right. Hope that helped.